What the hell's going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back into Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle in order to take a look at the fact that Bandai Namco has finally responded about their broken game. Hit my thought. I shut it down wherever power is stored. Being real is in the past, watch the cowards get on, 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 on. It ain't kill me, so it's making me stronger. And these bite size rappers now sense my hunger. The news has just dropped. Let's go ahead and read it together. I mean, they only took almost a week to accurately address the problem that has been plaguing Global Dokkan Battle. In case you have no idea what I'm talking about, in case you've been away from the game, there's been a big problem on Global. As you can see here, an issue related to the use of support items. Uh... Pretty much. <laughs> Let me uh, break it down for you. If you use support items anywhere in the game, the game will crash. Doesn't matter what the support item is. It could be a Sensu Bean. It could be a Whis. It could be an Android 8. Doesn't matter. The game will crash. I've confirmed it myself. It sucks. And so because of that, they decided to remove all challenge events. Infinite Dragon Ball History, Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, Boss Rush, uh, Legendary Goku event, all gone. And so you can't access it at all, not in the current events, not in the Portal of Memories. And that is some serious BS because I still had one stage of Super Battle Road that I wanted to complete, the category Super Battle Road. I wanted to, to do a video on that and get my rewards. I still had three stages of Extreme Super Battle Road that I wanted to complete. I've been waiting to make videos about them, and I have was actually planning time these past few days to get them done, and I can't. It's just that option has been taken away from me, which is absolute BS. So let's take a look at what they replied with, because again, they replied saying, hey, there's a problem. And the fix was, please do not use support items while challenging any stages before this issue is fixed. Further details and measures to be taken regarding this issue and the one described in the previous announcement, certain events temporarily closed due to an issue, will be updated in additional announcement. We truly apologize for the inconvenience caused and thank you for your understanding and patience. Keep in mind, this problem was so big that they had to delay the world tournament that was supposed to start March 11th all the way until April 23rd. That is over a month away. That is insane. So let's take a look at what their response is regarding the emergency maintenance. Dear players, you already know it's bad when they start with that. Dear players, an emergency update will be conducted and update 4.14.4 will be released in order to fix the issues mentioned in the following announcement. Certain events temporarily closed due to an issue and an issue related to the use of support items. Emergency maintenance period will go from the following. March 16th, 1800 to March 17th, 030. I don't know how to read military time, uh, but that essentially should be what one until 1 30 in the morning or 12 30 in the morning pacific time so that should be like 3 30 for global what's that like 8 until 3 30 or something like that a really long maintenance um many many hours uh which is uh kind of crappy once again so this is going to take place tomorrow and as it says, caution event times in Dokkan Battle are listed in Pacific Standard Time instead of Pacific Daylight Time. Please note that the duration of the maintenance is subject to change without prior notice. Obviously, we encountered that last time with the extended maintenance. Um, we truly apologize for any inconvenience caused by the emergency maintenance. Details regarding the end of maintenance and the measures to be taken will later be updated in this amount announcement. That is the part that gives me some type of hope but honestly guys i don't know if they're gonna follow through with this let me read that again details regarding the end of maintenance and the measures to be taken will later be updated in the announcement and the measures to be taken 
That typically means compensation. What measures are we, are we going to take to make you forgive us, to make you continue playing this game, to make you continue grinding, to make you continue having your uh, eyes glued to the screen, getting as much screen time as possible, which increases the chances of you spending money on the game, right? At the end of the day, they're a business, and that's what their main goal is, to have you spend as much money as possible on the game without burning out. They're trying to find that fine line of keeping you, stringing you along for as long as possible. That's why, in reality, free-to-play is the best way to go in a game like this, uh, because it's not your friend, right? But... The measures to be taken will most likely hint at some type of Dragonstone compensation, some type of, uh, you know, keys and age me and things of that nature. I made a video already before talking about how many Dragonstones I would like for them to have. I have both a optimistic and then a realistic viewpoint on it. Optimistic, I would say they should give at least 100 Dragonstones minimum simply because the over 50 that you would get from the world tournament that's about 60 you know close to 60 i think it's 58 or 60 or 61 somewhere around there for the world tournament plus all of the rewards and stuff like that that you could have potentially gotten if you were in first right like 15 copies of the new kid goku you're talking about all those ability orbs that you're missing out on all of them that's absolutely insane and then you're talking about events that you don't have access to let's just say if someone was about to beat boss rush how many dragon stones are in boss rush all of those levels there's got to be like what two two three hundred dragon stones just in boss rush alone you're talking about legendary goku event all the missions for infinite dragon ball history all those stages absolutely insane and then imagine this right imagine if the update doesn't fix the issue and we go into saiyan day where we're about to get more infinite dragon ball history stages and the game still doesn't work that would be mind-blowing i don't anticipate that happening i do think that the game will be fixed in time but that would be devastating for the success the future success of global dokkan battle uh as i said before i'm going to be disappointed by anything less than 100 dragon stones i can almost guarantee 90 percent that we will not receive even close to that i'd say maybe they'll give us 30 and call it a day uh frankly i am um a little ticked off by this uh i don't think um i mean you've seen it on twitter you've seen it everywhere the amount of annoyance that people have the built up frustration first the new year's and now this it's um it seems like there's just not enough not enough care and um just uh, overwatch on the global side as opposed to japan japan has an issue it's fixed within 12 hours global has an issue and it takes four days to acknowledge it and then it takes another three for any kind of fix it's unacceptable uh, it really is. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think we will get over or under 100 Dragon Stones? And if you want to be around to find out what the answer is, you got to stay subscribed to the channel. You can click that blue join button, become a Boomer Elite Boomer Champion like Chris Gonzalez and Wolverine Gaming, or you could do it the free to play way. Gently rub that sub button, gingerly ring that bell button, lovingly kiss the like button. As always, this is Periodic. See y'all in the next video.